Mary Stapleton, and I'm the director of the Towson University Center for STEM Excellence. Normally, I have students coming to visit me at the SciTech Student Learning Lab to do science activities, but today I'm coming to you from my backyard. So today I want to talk to you about bees. A lot of people are afraid of bees, and that's unfortunate because bees do a lot of work for us humans. In fact, without bees, we probably wouldn't be able to feed ourselves because bees pollinate over one third of our food supply. So when people think about bees, they most often think about honeybees at first. Honeybees are the kind of bees that nest in hives and that you're probably most familiar with. But today I wanna to talk about a different kind of bee. I wanna talk about a solitary bee called the mason bee. So mason bees don't nest in hives like honeybees do, but they nest in cavities by themselves. So not cavities like you might find in your teeth, but cavities like natural holes in pieces of wood or in the ground. And so today, we're gonna to learn how to make a mason bee house, like the one that you see here. Let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to come up with a design for your mason bee house. And here I'm gonna show you several different examples. One example I have here is just a small block of wood with a hole that's drilled into it. And I can just stack these up outside where the bees can get to them. You might also wanna to choose to put some of your wood blocks in this frame to kind of keep them stacked up together. Another example is this one where I have a single block of wood that I've drilled several different holes in and I put this board over the top to protect the nest holes from the weather. One final example is a mason bee house that I didn't build myself but that I purchased. And as you can see, there's three different types of substrate in here. One is some hollow bamboo rods, some is some wood where some holes have been drilled, and in this part here you can see there's some pine cones in there. Now that you've chosen a design for your mason bee house, let's talk about how to drill the holes. So I'm going to use this example here of this block. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to get out my drill and I have the bit that's going to allow me to make a hole that's about a quarter inch across. The next thing I want to do is I want to have my safety goggles on and I'm going to drill the hole. One thing you want to make sure is you don't want to go all the way through the block of wood. You want to go about two thirds of the way through. And then what I'll do is I'll finish drilling holes about every two inches along the block of wood. Let's talk about what's happening in your mason bee house. So once you've drilled these holes in the wood or these cavities and put it outside, the adult mason bees are gonna come and they're gonna find this. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna use these holes to lay their eggs. But the first thing they're gonna do is they're gonna put some nectar and pollen into this hole because that's what their eggs are gonna need to eat while they're developing. So after they put some nectar and pollen in these holes, they're gonna lay an egg and then they're actually gonna seal this hole up. And they do that by using pieces of mud. They might use a little bit of chewed up leaves. So then you have this nest that's sealed off and inside of this nest it's going to take an entire year for that egg to develop into a larvae and eventually into an adult mason bee so next spring what's going to happen is you're going to have an adult mason bee that's going to burrow their way out of this sealed cavity and they're going to begin the entire cycle over again if you're worried about attracting bees to your yard don't be Male mason bees can't sting at all, and female mason bees will only sting if they feel trapped or they're being squeezed. Since you shouldn't be squeezing the mason bees at all, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. And if you can't make a bee house right now, don't worry, there's lots of other ways that you could help mason bees. The first way is by encouraging people not to use too many pesticides in their gardens, on their lawns, or in parks. Another thing that you can do is encourage people to plant native plants. These are the types of plants that are best for our bees that we have here in Maryland. Another thing that you can do is you can learn more about insects. Take a walk around your neighborhood or even just look around your house. Bring a notebook with you. Make notes about the different types of insects that you see and draw pictures of what they look like. 
you'll be amazed by how many different types of insects you see and by all of the different roles they play in keeping our ecosystems healthy. Learning Undefeated has lots of other cool science investigations. Visit Learning Undefeated at www.learningundefeated.org forward slash at home science.